What's this? Beat, beat challenge. Hi Joy, you are assigned a beat challenge. In the next 14 days, have one meal with coriander each day. Can la. Coriander only. Record yourself and the meal. Okay, let's do this. I've got my coriander. So I went online to search what are the benefits of coriander. It helps lower blood sugar, boost antioxidants, heart health, brain health, promote digestion, gut health, and fight against infection. Coriander also lowers bad cholesterol and increases the levels of good cholesterol. Day 1, I did a breakfast wrap and make a sleep. Put tzatziki sauce, tomatoes, chicken breast, cheese, and coriander. I folded it into quarters, like how I saw it on TikTok, and grill it on the pan. Here we go! This is my breakfast wrap for day 1. Day 2, toast, scrambled egg, and guacamole. Oops, a little bit too much. Day 3, I went out to get some fish soup for myself. They've added anchovy, fried shallot and seaweed. Realised that there isn't much coriander choices outside. But don't worry, I brought mine along for this challenge. And we are all good, I finished all my coriander. Day 4, I made some bongoli pasta with coriander and chili padi. Tasted so good, but I've forgotten to make some videos on it. Day 5, I went to Plentiful Delhi to have some Vietnamese banh mi. Asked for more coriander into my sandwich. Adding in more coriander to my sandwich. Look at the colors, so vibrant and delicious looking. The flowing out carrots and coriander. Go and try it. Day 6. I made simple macaroni soup with shredded chicken breast, coriander, and shallots. Can you guys guess why I'm making? This is the Taiwanese coriander ice cream wrap. I put in some healthy granolas and keto ice cream. Yikes, I forgot to thaw the ice cream. Here we go. Nice ice cream. Put some coriander on top and give it a good wrap. And here is my wrap. I miss Taiwan so much. If you haven't tried this before, I think it's good to give it a try too. Mmm, so nice. Day 8. I made some dumplings together with my sister. Mary, I got some marinated meat and add in coriander. Scoop a little bit of meat and put on the dumpling wrap. Dab some water at the ends and fold it into half. And wrap it around again. Dumplings, her dumplings, my dumplings, her dumplings, coriander, dumplings. Day 9, I made some tropical smoothie with mango, pineapples, ice cream, and coriander to blend along. It's so thick and creamy. You can feel the tiny bits of coriander in it and it gives a very different and unique taste. 
ordered some popia to wrap today and I'll show you what we have here we have carrots and turnips, popia skin, garlic and chili, eggs, peanuts, lettuce and fried crispy beets, sweet sauce and coriander Ta-da! That's my popia. Day 11, I made some quinoa porridge for my parents. On day 12, I tried natto bento with coriander added. Now, mix in the coriander together with the natto and give it a very good stir. Look at the strings of the natto. Add it in into my rice bowl together with the onsen egg. Itadakimasu! Day 13. I made some coconut chicken soup. Done. Ta -da! It's the last day, so I've made some coriander infused water to try. It's so pretty to see and nice and refreshing. I would bet it. To me, coriander it is not quite a challenge, but to eat it consistently for 14 days, it is a little bit too much. It is very flavorful and strong. Uh, it elevates the taste of food and gives different levels of texture. Personally, adding coriander into my meals it helps to uh, it helps with my digestion. Uh, at the same time, it relieves a little bit of stress. Probably is because of the flavors that coriander gives out. To incorporate coriander into the meals is very very easy. It can be treated like a garnish or to elevate the taste of your food or your soup and even drinks. But to buy it. To buy food with coriander outside, I think it's a little bit difficult. Not many places outside will have coriander available. Uh, most of my meals have to be homemade at home to have coriander. Uh, probably it's because coriander is not liked by many. Personally, I feel the smoothie that I've made, mango, pineapple and coriander, it tastes pretty well. The taste of the mango and pineapple overwhelms the taste of the coriander. Thus, I think it's quite a good starter to start with if you want to try something with coriander. Yep, I will include, I will continue adding coriander into my meals.